Hi everybody. I forgot what I was doing, but I'm gonna um, show you how to get PBR materials into Second Life. This is a super basic, like how to do it. I'm not gonna go very deep into things. I'm certainly not gonna explore any of the problems uh, with doing this either. So let's just jump right into Substance Painter. I'm gonna take an old model. Um, first, first things first, there is information contained in a 3D model that was previously excluded by the Second Life uploader because it wasn't necessary and now it's being used. So it's not entirely necessary to, to do this with old models, um, but you'll probably get much better results. So yes, you should re-upload your, your mesh even if it hasn't changed at all since the last time. If it's since like uh, mid-2023, Upload a new mesh. I'm gonna take this thing that I've already got, um, create a new file. Okay, PBR, metallic roughness, alpha test. That's the same thing we always use. Um, I've got this mirror. This is an old mesh, and so I'm gonna use that. OpenGL, that's what we want. Um, DirectX and OpenGL, it's basically the, it's like an inverted version of the normal map, and so OpenGL is what Second Life uses. That's what we're gonna use right here. Compute tangent space per fragment. I'm not gonna go into what this does because quite frankly, I'm not exactly sure. However, it is recommended by Linden Lab that we check this one as well. So, there is a, a great page on all of this um, that I will put in the description for you to see straight from, straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, we're gonna bake our maps. Turn to painting. Okay, uh, that was quick, wasn't it? So, first things first. I don't know if there's a way to do this um, in bulk. And, however, I have not found it. You will have fewer issues in Second Life later if we get rid of our alpha channel. And that's our opacity channel right down here. So for each texture set, we're going to go into opacity and just get rid of it. That's important because if not, you'll have to you know, change some settings in Second Life. And when you first upload the material, you might get like a see-through object or a variety of other weird things. And so it's all easy enough to fix, but if you go ahead and do it now, then you don't have to worry about it. It will come in as opaque instead of blended. Okay. We've set this up correctly. Now, the first thing that you should do is save a texture as you would of a 2D view. So if I go to export textures, let's see. Okay, select that folder. Output template, PBR, no, I don't want that one. What I want is my second life. And I think I showed you in a different video how to make your second life export output template. Um, but anyway, that's what we want to do because we want to have some normal diffuse maps. Okay, so basically pop, pop, pop. We got our 2D view. There we go. Looks good. Okay, so now we're going to go back over here. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. We should find this. Ta-da. GLTF PBR Metal Roughness. Did we talk about... PBR, PBR stands for physically based rendering, and it's basically just the way that light behaves on materials. Um, it's been part of video games for like 11 years now, so it's nice of Second Life to jump on board. That's awesome. Um, and seriously, it is awesome because in Second Life, um, you don't have a development team creating the assets. You have people at home, you have grandmas and grandpas and uncles and kids and you know whoever doing these these uh, meshes and creations. So there's not, it's not like, you know, okay, we're gonna optimize everything. So Second Life has unique challenges, which is why we're getting this kind of late. Anyway, rant over. GLTF, what, what do we have there? Graphics library, transmission, format? <laughs> sure, okay, so format. And that's just a way of basically putting a lot of different 3D data into a single file so we don't have all these textures and 
models and everything floating around, although we're not really exporting the model with this. So we're just gonna say, okay. So there we go. That's what we need. We're not gonna do this, we're not gonna do mesh. We are just gonna say, okay, we've got our settings and we're gonna export this. Now, you see that it's done all of these different textures. We've got an emissive, we've got normal, we've got occlusion roughness metallic, we've got base color. None of it really matters because what we're gonna end up with in our folder is just a single cute little file, GLTF file. So now we're gonna pop ourselves over to Second Life or Firestorm. Again, you need to be using like a, a, a modern viewer um, if you want to see this kind of stuff. I'm just gonna go to my world real quick and I'm gonna say, let's go midday so we have a little more brightness. Okay. We're at the lovely Thunk store, by the way. Here's a product placement. If you need some guitars, hmm, keyboards, ooh, look, nice little synthesizer. They all play in sync with each other with loops that have been painstakingly created. And so every one of these instruments, unless noted, will play a loop that syncs with all the other instruments. And there's about, well, on average, about 10 loops per instrument. Same with these, big drum circle. You know, the old elven drums, they work like that, except for there's just a lot more of them. Anyway, there's my, my mid, my mid video commercial. Okay, let's go to upload. First, we gotta upload the mesh, um, because again, I don't have this mesh in my inventory, for one, and for two, um, I just need to do it again anyway, because, you know, it's gonna account for some of the things we need in PBR. So I'm just gonna call it mirror. Um, physics, I'm just going to go to lowest, don't really, you know, I have to worry about that. Um, <clears throat> here, I'm just going to make these small because I'm not really interested in having like a really high quality item. I'm not selling this or anything. Um, of course, you know, there's all different ways that you can sort of tinker around with getting size. Okay. Way too big. But anyway, let's go. I would normally make, you know, LOD models and do the whole other thing but that's not why we're here today here is our mirror okay it looks great doesn't it so <clears throat> as much as i hate to keep uploading stuff i'm going to remember those textures that we made i have the 2d view right so that 2d view we're going to use I am uploading my actual textures. So I forgot I can edit. Okay, so wood of mirror. Yes. So here we have it. That's our model as if, you know, it was just for Second Life now. There's no specular. I, I didn't even use the old materials. Um, so let's improve this by adding the PBR materials we made. So, we're going to go to upload, and you'll notice we have a new thing here, material. Ta-da. And since all of these are in one file, look, we have a GLB, GLTF. We want the GLTF. Now, select material. So you could select any one of those materials, you know, your, your texture sets from substance, uh, or we can say bulk upload all. Note that there's going to be three, or are there four per per material? And so you know, just keep that in mind. It gets expensive fast, and so I, I believe it's three, but we'll have to check. Maybe it's four. So if it's four, and there's there's five here, you know, we're, again we're looking at twenty um, uploads, two hundred lindens, unless you are a subscriber and you can do it for free it's a bunch of bunch of different stuff so we have four i'm sorry it was four per so that's what i said never mind anyway that's a lot but we don't have to worry about all those textures isn't that nice we have a new folder here in our inventory it's called materials and ta-da so i'm just gonna drag this right here wood of mirror Now we pretty much have what we had in Substance Painter. It's pretty much the same exact setup. 
as you can see, you're getting some reflections. You're seeing um, a hint of realism that's that's kind of really nice to see. And also, obviously, this wood, this was like a varnished wood. Um, I would never use that on a normal object, but then you know, these guys look really nice, and you'll see that the light is behaving as it should. So there we go. Sweet little easy, easy thing to do. And my dog flapped her ears for you. I hope this helps. Hope you hope you learned something. I know I did. <laughs> so um, that's how you do it. Easy peasy.